Hi there. Aloha. So what time of day is it? One thirty at night. Wow. In the morning. In the morning. Yeah. In the middle of the night. So yeah, so you're going to close the bars. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just um, set the alarm and slept for two and a half hours. And then afterwards, I will sleep again. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And how was Hawaii? Oh, it was so good to be there. Oh, my God. It was amazing that I was able to be there. It, it filled me up. It filled my tank up again. And I feel so much calmer and happier again. And, and I'm, it was, especially after the Lahaina fire, it was so unbearable for me to be here and not support my friends. Mm -hmm. And so at least I could be there for two and a half weeks and, and talk to some people and, and especially one, one lady who is really involved in supporting many of her Hawaiian families, etc. I I was able to be with and support her and and that was kind of like really um very important. It was kind of like I could be with my family for at least a little bit, you know, even though it was only a drop of water in the whole ocean of things, but <laughs> So then my next question to you is, can your schedule uh, allow you to go back there periodically, like once a quarter? You know, I would love that. And it's really a financial thing. I have really big challenges with finances. I uh -huh. know you had... Two and a half years ago, you had said that if I can set it up in a in a way that um, I can um, uh, that my finances are okay and I can be there, and I totally went down in my finances, and then um, I was moving to Mo to to to. Hamburg in order to bring them up again and first I had to get even more debts into into more debts and now oh. I'm at the point that that here in Hamburg I'm I'm um, getting to the to the point that my my income is increasing and I don't know I don't think in in Munich it would have happened that's why I moved to Hamburg so it's better, and you know the flight to to um, to Maui. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I was gifted by Jenna to this. She gifted me with that. Fantastic! I know. That's wow. Why I could do that, and and I was. Uh, she had offered me miles like two years ago. She had offered me miles, and then it didn't work for me. And so in summer, I was like, oh. I should ask her if she can give me miles. And then I don't know why she said that with the miles that it doesn't work, uh, but she's happy to give me some money. And she said she just had has some money now so she can give gift me with that. And so she did. And she, yes, she, she. Um, made it possible. Made it possible. She made Good. It possible. Okay. Yeah. And I, I also had a, uh, um, got in, got the social security working. So um, I just, I had just gotten the first check, I think in September, just right for the, right on time for the journey. So um, they paid me back since from June, July. So then that was enough. It's like three hundred fifty dollars, but it it is three hundred fifty dollars. So I got another check of a thousand dollars. So it it was possible to do that. I felt, awesome. I felt so blessed. I was, and immigration 
that was they were not not happy that I was away for two and a half years. I was they they took me in the in the extra room, like I always was fearing that it would happen that they might get me into the uh, terrible room there. And luckily, my I had this. I had met this um, lawyer years ago in Florida, immigration lawyer, and she had given me her phone number and said, whenever I have challenges, I should call her and ask her about it. And so she had prepared me and um, because two and a half years away from the US is a no-no for, for green card holders. Mm -hmm. And that was the whole thing all over all, all these years that I always felt like I need to get, be there every half a year or at least once a year. And um, then they were like, oh, you don't have this visa. You don't have this visa. And that's a no, no. Why? I, what are you doing? And oh, But of course, not in a very friendly way. They talked to me, but in a harsh way. And yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, one minute. I'm so glad that you checked in early so we get to talk like this. This is great. I know, I know, yeah. And yeah. Um, so, so Hamburg, you feel like you can be making more money and- Yeah, and it, because I my, my friend uh, opened up um, the opportunity that I can work as a speech therapist. And so I'm working in a bakery, I'm working as a speech therapist, I'm working as a spa manager, and I give, uh, give sessions, uh, I give, um, I started to do voice workshops again. It's not that many people are coming yet, but it feels like it, it's, it was really funny. Hamburg, as soon as I moved, hey, Pam. Well, look who's there. <laughs> oh, how great to see you. Yeah. Yeah, it's one o'clock in the morning. You? Yeah. <laughs> what a treat. Thank you. See him here. Where are you in in Hawaii or or Germany or Switzerland? In Germany again. I was in Hawaii for for two and a half weeks, but but I'm in Hamburg again. Oh, you are okay, okay. Yeah. So so as soon as I came to Hamburg, the voice stuff opened up. That people were asking me, "Are you giving voice oh. workshops?" So I started to do that, and it's kind of like that's what I feel is opening up is opening me up to the world again. And that's like a friend of mine said, oh, Hamburg will be like a jumping board back to where you want to be. And that's what it feels like. It just takes a little longer than we thought. That Everything takes longer than we thought on this planet. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what I would like to say is that, that I feel like, you know, just envision that the work is going to allow you to go back to Hawaii every yeah. six months. Exactly. That and not and you know the the thing is that I lost hope. I really lost hope, and I realized by by being able to be on Maui again, mm -hmm. I realized how much I had lost hope. And when I I was back, and when I was seeing all my friends, and when I was kind of like, oh my God, this is my home. Realizing, feeling that, I mean, like a Taurus yeah. just needs to feel it even more than maybe some other people, but feeling that it's kind of like, oh, okay, yes. And now it is easy for me to imagine that again. This whole- That's wonderful to hear. Visualization of, Yes, I will be there for three months, two months, once a month, one one month or so, but every three, four, five, six months or so. Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. And I think that, you know, the 
the um, the speech therapy, you know, is going to be more far more lucrative. Yeah, I'm. I was so resistant to it, and and now it's kind of like starting to get into me that I need to do that more, and then then it will even. Give yeah, me but you, you, you you're not going to do it the way that you did before. I mean, you're coming to it with all this other knowledge and all of these other experiences. And so it's going to be completely different. Yeah. And that's totally true. And and all of a sudden there, there are these boys and girls in line to to be with me, like with a, you know, with these little things of they, they can't speech the S, they can speak, can't pronounce the s in the appropriate way they do it in the the english way the you know like the thing instead instead of singing they said they say singing and so i have to teach them to put the, the tongue back behind the teeth and uh, i said i will only do uh kids from the age of six or seven because the the speech therapy office is not equipped for for little little ones because the others they mainly uh, uh, work with adults or seven eight year old boys and yeah girls. and so now the universe is sending seven or eight year old boys and girls but also adults for breath work and and singing etc and through the through the singing workshops there are some coming up who are who who will probably come to me for the breath work for bre for breathing and and uh voice challenges and things like that so okay so i want to start the the group now and say you know <clears throat> welcome to drawing in the now i'm nancy marie and the activity i want to do today is the reflective circle. In the previous classes, I have done um, two versions of Just Scribble, and we have done uh, Explore and Ponder or Circles and Lines, and we also have done the Labyrinth. Now today, I, I know both of you have done the reflective circle multiple times, but today I want to do it a little different. And what I want you to do is I want you to do a circle and we're going to do several of them. One is I want you to do um, the traditional, which is the lines, the curved lines, the circle and the two dots. So that's one. You can see I got some circles up behind me. Then what I want us to do is I want you to do uh, one with all circles, nothing but circles. And then the third one is going to be straight lines. And what I'm really looking for is how does your body respond to doing just circles, just lines, or, you know, doing the usual of three straight lines, two curved lines, a circle and two dots. The reason I did had people do that um, collection of different shaped lines is that everything around us, any word, you know, you say a painting, a window, a shade, a dog, you know, it doesn't matter. It's all made of those shapes and every table, every couch, every car, every human being can be reduced down to either straight lines or curved lines or uh, circles or dots. And the if a child is having or an individual is having trouble speaking in a certain way, um, that a lot of it, I found out that a lot of it had to do with their the inability of their brain to read a certain shape line. And um, 
And when I was working with a lot of preschool teachers, um, I discovered this thing, I think it's called DRDP. Um, basically what it was, was they found that if they did sim something similar to what I'm talking about, but a, a simpler version, that it could help a child bring both hemispheres together. So mm -hmm. I'm wanting us to focus on bringing both hemispheres together in a way that is going to manifest what you want to manifest. And I would say, focus on just one thing that you would like to manifest. We're not going to do a whole bunch of them. You can do a whole bunch of it at home, but the ultimate is right now is just do the difference. So uh, with that said, I'm going to take my, and they're not very dark, are they? Um, no. Okay, let me get a different color. Okay, so I'm going to hopefully make this more visible. Okay, so find do three circles on your paper so we can just transition from one to the other. And like I said, this first one is going to be what we've done before which is you divide it into quarters. You work only in one quarter and you put in three straight lines, two curved lines, a circle and two dots. Remember the lines, the straight lines and the curved lines um, need to attach to a different line and then add your two curved lines you can do this while i'm doing you don't have to sit and wait so here so i have three straight two curved do a circle and two dots Okay, then do the reflection of that. When you're doing the reflection, you're moving it from one hemisphere to the other. And it really brings things together. So if you're, I, I find that if I'm really rattled by something, that this is very helpful because it pulls everything together and just makes it um, clear on what I need to do. How many straight lines in? Three. Three. Three straight, two curved, one circle, two dots. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That isn't working. Oh my goodness. It isn't. But anyway, that's okay. So some questions I would have you ask yourself is, 
which of these patterns um, help you be more still inside yourself, more calm, more connected? Okay, did you do it? Raise your hand if you're done. Okay, all right, so now let's go to circle number two. And of course we're gonna do four sections. And we're only gonna work in one quadrant at a time, but I would like you to put seven circles in there. They can be large, they can be small, they can be inside of each other, anything you want. Seven circles inside. Inside one quadrant. Inside one quadrant. After you've done the seven circles in here, then you can flip it over and do it just like you did before. But the thing I want you to peripherally be paying attention to is what is a strain and what calms you? And they cannot overlap. The circles cannot overlap. Uh, you know, you could do it. You could have them overlap if you want. Okay. I mean, this is like what we're trying to find out here is what relaxes your brain the best. So if you're thinking about overlapping, it probably is an indication you should try it. When you're done, raise your hand.
Hmm. So how was the circles? Just all circles. I didn't like it as much. You as, didn't like it as much. And as, you like you like the traditional way. I like the old traditional way. Yeah. The combination. Okay. And uh, Lavinda, how did you feel about the circles? I noticed with the last one, so the, the top right. Yeah. Like when I finished there, it I noticed that I was stressed. Aha. Uh -huh. And even though the other is also like, it's com kind of complicated, but it didn't stress me so much. It was kind of like, yeah, I have to pay attention. But this one, it was easier for me to to do it, but still I felt a level of stress in there. Okay, so now we're going to go for five straight lines in one quadrant and then, you know, flip it over each way. And once again, you're paying attention to is the old traditional way or the uh, circles or the... Um, lines are better so five lines okay Raise your hand when you're done. No, I'm not done. Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Pam. Did you like um, 
what what is the sequence of what you like the best, middle and least? Okay, I I like the traditional first one, the best. Okay. The best, okay. It's more that, creative. Mm -hmm. It's more challenging. Okay. The circles and I I I I did it so fast. I I didn't put much creativity into it. It was pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seven little circles in each quadrant. It was pretty simple to do. Mm -hmm. So when it came to doing the lines, I went, let's be a little more creative. And that was more fun than the circles, but not as much fun as the original. Okay, so it's the original, then lines, the lines and, the and then circles the end. Mm -hmm. And what feeling did you have um, with e each of them? I mean, it's like you, you obviously have, have a quantitative experience. And so when you're doing the original... Um, is it the fam familiarity or is it the, the, you know, a creativity that you have to bring to it? For me, and the original, it's the creativity. And what I found is I got lost in the process. In other words, could relax with the process. Didn't know, didn't matter what was around me. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. That's okay. what you want. That's what right. You, right. And so um, do you feel like you can, in a stressful situation, like waiting in a doctor's office or who knows what, paying attention to the election coming up, um, do you think that you can reduplicate this with your finger on your leg or your hand or your arm or someplace? I I could do it. I prefer to do it with pen and paper. Yeah, but you don't always have pen and paper when you're stressed. No, no, no. I I I, I you know to put a I you know a quadrant. It'd be easier to do the lines than the the original with. Yes. All, and my boring circles would be easy. Mm hmm. Okay. But it would take distract you from particularly the political world we're living in this country today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's quite interesting. So yeah. let me yeah. Yes. Um I'm not sure whether it's the fa familiarity or um the original is mm -hmm. much easier for me than the, the straight lines. Like, because with this, uh, I didn't think that, but, but I, I, how can I say that? In the third quarter, I didn't get it anymore, how to do the straight lines. I made a big mistake. Mm -hmm. so, so that stressed me totally. Totally, and yes. Then in comparison, uh, to that, the circles were easy peasy. And um, when I look at it also, it looks like like um, air bubbles in the water. <laughs> circles. Circles, and, circles. Yeah. And, and um, that's mm -hmm. or, or like, like, Good description. like the, see their eyes yeah mm -hmm. and there is my straight line i i totally screwed up here and that looks like a web which is interesting as well and that might be a challenge but relaxed is definitely the the, the traditional and then the circle and the straight line is not relaxed at all yeah okay well um this is good you know so know that doing circular motion or doing multiple different movements, meaning that would be the, the beginning one. Um, it, the, what you're looking for here is 
something that delights you or something that calms you, brings you into that, as Pam said, something about all the other stuff just kind of goes by the wayside. I mean, that's the point we're trying to do is just move the system over to the conscious mind, which means it's not going to be reacting to the insanity we're living in right now. Yeah, that it, it, yes, that it put me in my conscious mind. It yeah. took, took me away from the insanity. That well, we're I, yeah, living through. Right? Yes, <laughs> you're going through, or we're all going through. Well, you and I are going through it. I don't know, you know, if Lavina is aware of so what's going on in our country that is so frightening and scary. It's I have two countries. I have the US and Germany. Oh know, yes, Germany. Maui. Yes, and I love Maui. Yeah, but Germany is also totally insane, even though we don't have elections, but uh Maybe the whole world is insane and it different. Is. It is. I think it is. I think it is. It is. So I, I was really surprised when I did the all circle thing that it was so easy. It um it was fun. I was like, oh my God, this is so fun. This is so cute. This is so whatever. And um the other ones, you know, the straight lines, and even the old traditional one today, my mind was like, um, I don't get it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> but the so, circle one was easy. Yeah, it was easy. And if easy doesn't relax you and put you into the conscious mind, then, you know, don't do it. The whole point is what's going to get you there. And how can you stay there? And uh, and may we all survive this time in history. <laughs> yes. You know, so, maybe, yeah. maybe I, I felt stressed with the circle because before I didn't notice it because I'm a little tired because it's in the middle of the night. And I know that it's always stressing me a little bit when I get to the left top quarter mm -hmm. as my brain uh, of my brain function is a little bit off sometimes and uh, kind of, I, I always have to look to pay attention a little bit but I didn't notice my stress level at all when I did the first circle only when I when I did the second circle but when I look at it now it's also, as I said, the circle one is a fun one, mm -hmm. right? and the yeah. other is a creative one. The first and the the third is kind of like, oh, it sucks me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see a goof in my lines. Looking, I see a lot of goofs in my lines today. You know, it's just like, okay, this is what's happening. And remember, you didn't make a mistake. What the drawing is showing you is um, what state is your mind in? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that because I did look at my where my mistake is, and I that is the word I used. Yeah, it's not a mistake. I mean, th this this activity is incredibly revealing. You know, I've had people, you know when they were learning the first traditional one, it taking them three months daily, doing one daily, three months to get, to finally be able to break through and, and do it. So it's all duplicated. So, um, you know, it's, if I need fun, if I need some silly in my life, I definitely would go to the, all the circles because it's ridiculously simple. And sometimes ridiculous is exactly what my system needs to get out of the deadlock of what we're all experiencing. 
And so choose whichever one. And um, if you have any insights about it, you can send me an email. Keep Nancy, them. I sent you an email this morning, but I don't think you got it. I got an email saying that you were going to be attending class. Oh, yeah. you did get it. Okay. And then I fell asleep. Oh, yeah. You fell asleep. Hey, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> no, I sat on the couch going, okay, remember 4.30. And I came awake at 5.30. <laughs> age. 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 So, Lavinda, it's so great to see you. Oh, it is. Fabulous. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and if you oh, would like to do reminder. more of these classes and maybe not get up at one o'clock in the morning, uh, email me. Maybe we can find a time that some of the old group can meet. Oh, that would be awesome. I'm flexible throughout the day yeah. and night. Well, yeah, because we're in the same time zone. So, you know, I'm not going to do it at one o'clock in the morning. There's no way. No, no, no. But it's something that works, <laughs> you know, for Lavinda and anyone else who yeah. is in New York yeah. or wherever. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, Dawn's in Hawaii and, you know, you're in Germany and I'm not, I have to go back and look at other people. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's, you know, this is a possibility. Okay. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you for today, and I hope it was helpful. Yes, it was very helpful. Thank you very so much. much. Yes, and Good. and awesome. we're gonna you're gonna do this again November fourth. Yeah, that's two. Uh, is that the? It's the day before yeah. the election. We ought to be out of our mind by then. Yeah, and and that is the first Monday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I will be doing it that. Yeah, because I'm really. I, I've Cindy, who does my um, computer stuff, um, has set it up so that I, I, they're all scheduled up until the end of December. Right. right. And I, I just happened to see it was November 4th and I went, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, people are going to be hanging out to dry. I mean, it's it's going to be wild. Yes. <laughs> That's good for you. You you calm down and then you do whatever needs to be done. So yeah, you just calm down and uh, it's soon happening, but um, Alex um, has a, is, is going to have his own column. I don't understand what you mean. Uh, Who's yeah. Alex? Who's yeah. Alex? Who's Alex? Alex is your dog. Right. Oh, your dog. Oh, yes. I see. Oh, now I'm getting it. Oh, yeah. oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I decided that I was just so done with, you know, metaphysical stuff and pushing and all of that. And I was like, you know, this has got, you know, I, I have to break the ice in a different direction. So, yeah. So he is, um, he has a business card. <laughs> Which uh, can, I will, Dottie, can Dottie join? Is he handing um, it to people outside of your your um Safeway store or is he handing it to people to, to everybody? <laughs> no, he's not handing it to people, but I think I, I might Oing. yeah. I, I might have Cindy set it up so people can download it and they can, you know, put it together and, and have his business card. But, um, you know, uh, shipping business cards overseas is is not worth it. It's just, it's just so. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But, but um, any ideas you guys have and when I'll, I'll email you and let you know when he's doing his first column. When he's launching. Yeah. He's launching his first column. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On his business. So, yeah. Okay. So. I yeah, so you know, I I think that he can say things that I might not say. Um, I mean, it's it's really oh, good. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's kind of like having a puppet, but he's real. 
What a great idea. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. I think, you know, I, I really think it will help, you know, people will laugh and they will share it with other people. I mean, it's, you know, he, he, I wrote two, two columns this morning. Oh, wow. Perfect. So I'm going to get a few ahead of it and run it by my computer person. And, but yeah, I'm hoping that he's going to have a, you know, a viable following. <laughs> so um, are you doing it as a blog or is he doing it as a blog or uh, on, on uh, like on this blog? Uh, well, well, I'm not, I, I think it's going to, I'm not sure if it's, I think it's more um, part of the mail, you know, the, um, the mail say a setting, you know, that is sent out. And Each like, week. Do, you get my, do you get my um, newsletter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's going to be part of that. It, it'll be there. And, but I'm also going to encourage anybody to share it with anybody. I mean, I think it's time for humor. Uh, yes. And, you know, um, maybe you want to consider to put it on one of those blogging platforms. What are the blogging platforms? I oh, have... you know, I don't know that much about it either, but I know I, I will... that blog, blog, there are so many bloggers around and they there are certain platforms uh, where uh, bloggers are publishing their blogs and uh -huh. so there's a whole different kind of world in terms of blogging around and so maybe your your internet person knows more about it or maybe yeah. you you can find somebody who knows something about it because yeah. it's kind of like maybe a whole different approach would be great i mean you start with whatever you do in your newsletter and maybe then at some point it can he can he can be even more independent from you well yeah maybe he maybe he should have an account at linkedin you know yeah exactly <laughs> something like that i mean hey let's all you know put our fantasies wow. into this that is so great. Yes. Let's exactly. put all of our fantasies into this and um and it'll we'll find ourselves laughing and that's what we need to do right now. Or a TikTok account. Yeah. Well, you know, oh yeah, TikTok. I don't want to do X. No, TikTok. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I I know what TikTok is. I don't know any so I don't do social medias, but I can learn. Uh huh. You're not talking about podcasts, Lavina. No, podcasts not that people are doing. No, no, blogging is just the writing thing, like like podcasts, but in in writing, and and um, there are, there are people who, like years ago, they started to write articles as if you write an article on your website, so people can put it on their website but they can also put it in a different platform where it's just about a certain subject. And then mm. it's kind of like a spread on the internet in a way that just that subject is uh, visible. And when people are, are uh, looking for some humor or humor or something like this, so you put these, these keywords in there, I get, I get guess, and then uh, humor with dogs or whatever it is, then people would find that. And they would find it much better than um, when it's, it's kind of like hidden in, in Nancy's newsletter. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what- Well, it, yeah, people. it is, it's hidden. And, and what I'm hearing is, is that um, we might start out just with the, um, mail in you know, the newsletter format but um you know i w talking to the you guys and having your reaction is you know i think he has to have his own persona i mean he's yeah. 
own persona, his own attitudes. You know, we're I'm working on another one about smelling butts. <laughs> oh, well, I have two dogs here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you they, know um they do that a lot and then then you can put um uh now it gets a little bit deeper into that i just observed a, a talk at dotras the the uh, company with a with um, um essential oils and there was a lady talking about digestion and she had a picture of all the different kinds of forms of when when your um, uh, digestion is coming out again as brown stuff uh, and whether it it can be a, a a sausage or a little little things but that which looks like a sausage that's the the healthy way and all the other are not the healthy ways and it's like an official sign science of course <laughs> and so <laughs> things like that he, he could also put in oh today i had a good good shit my sausage was really healthy <laughs> i'm so proud of it <laughs> okay this is what we want to do and it sounds okay. yeah it sounds I mean, as if that is a voice um you mm -hmm. have inside of you nancy but you you usually don't say and go ahead just do it yeah no i mean Not he like, i think did one thing, um, one of the uh, uh, columns that I wrote, you know, had to do with um, dogs liking to smell and dogs rolling in smells on the lawn and, you know, people being, oh, just aghast at that. But then they go home and they put on perfume and cologne. So what's the difference? It's their perfume. It's their perfume. It's their perfume. Right. I'm also, at, yeah, my dog is not a roller. Uh, Nancy, another thing is the aging process. Yeah, we're not going to get to that for a while. Okay. Well, I'm going through it with Dottie, so I feel there's a lot of... Okay. Well, you know, send me an email or, you know, and... Uh, or give me a call. And yes, I definitely would like to have you guys um, get him. I mean, talking about people being stressed and, and, you know, uh, smelling a dog, smelling his butt, and, you know, which really has to do with lack of boundaries. Um, you know, I, I, I look forward to this. I think I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. And yeah. I will let you know when it's up and ready. And yeah. Um, yeah, and I will, you know, the whole thing about his card is um, I think I'm going to have Cindy make it so it's downloadable for free. And just say, you know, be, a, you know, a card carrying um dog supporter i don't know you know what it is but it's just fun fun that's the fun and 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 lavinda you need to go back to sleep yes i do yes <laughs> i can feel it i can feel it and so um i'm going to end it and let's all stay in touch yes and so good to see you lavinda and and Thank always you. nancy and yeah, maybe we could get a reunion even going. That would be awesome. It would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, awesome. And, yeah. Yeah, and maybe we could, you know, focus our, you know, our our reunion on um, ideas for Alex's column. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is the, we're the, his support group, you know, and we'll find out who else wants to get together and, you know, and, and just brainstorm because I mean, right. yeah, I mean, we just need to have an alternate reality going on here. Right. And to find a time that works. So Lucinda isn't. Yeah. The middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm really looking at um, how can we change that? So that when, when it's 10 o'clock here, so, so the latest for me, uh, 
in order to have a good night's sleep would be um, your time. Oh, it's winter. No, what? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's well, it's turning. Oh, it's when the winter time. It's still nine nine hours uh, difference. So, so yeah. um, except this one week when you change earlier than us. Uh huh. I think that's next week or. or yeah, it is. Next yeah, week. it is. Com it is coming up. Yeah, and and I think it's um when you have. 1 p.m. then that's 10 p 10 p.m. my time so that would be the latest in terms of time for me to have it as a sane time okay you know, so so at 10 too. so 10 o'clock in the morning would be good for you that would be 11 or 12 or 1 o'clock so okay. anything between 10 and 1 1 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. would be okay good. I and will then, look at that why like the Hawaii is is um, just wow. the a.m. You know, mm -hmm. my my p.m. is their a.m. Mm -hmm. oh, winter they're they're one one hour less. So, oh, you know that anyway. So in winter it's two hours difference, and in summer it's three hours difference to your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I I will just go on and let Google tell me if if it's this yeah. time. What time is it in Maui? You know what time. Whoever wants to just have a bit of a reunion, mm -hmm. um, that uh, I'll find out. You know, find out a, a block of time. But I I definitely feel like um, doing it in the morning. You know, like between ten and one um, is very doable. Very doable. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Good. Yes. Get some, get some good sleep. Good night. Yes. Namaste. Thank bye bye. So bye bye. bye, -bye.